There we go. All right, connections in the classroom, making microbit an integral option. So when I became introduced to the microbit, it was a welcome addition to my teaching toolbox. And during the COVID closures, learning more about the microbit became a primary focus, not only for my, my professional work, but also in my household. A little delayed there. So I have for you six steps for success, and they are to invest, investigate, invite others, insist, improvise, and interact. And starting with just um, the interaction part, even though it's listed as number six, my main uh, area of focus has been on learning through the Microbit website. And if you are new to the, the Microbit, this website will become your new best friend. So with that in mind, um, just jump into it, dive into it, and, and take your first steps on that getting started page. Um, and it, the, I, would, I would say that you need to invest in a micro bit for yourself. The low cost and highly engaging na nature of the tool makes it um, a, a welcome and practical um, addition to your, your classroom. It is uh, highly engaging, and with the utilization of the website, you can quickly teach yourself a lot about programming. Tip two, investigate the projects page. Now, this is where I have spent the, most, the majority of my time learning about the projects. Um, prior to the pandemic, my, my students and I would have investigated these activities together. But since things have changed, I found myself with a lot of free time on my hands and, and was working through the different aspects of the projects page. So when we finally do get back together, I will find myself being the lead learner in the classroom. But because they're super competitive, I can count on them quickly catching up. Tip three, invite the, adult, invite the adults in charge to play along. Now, one of the best things that I did was to invite my principal who's pictured there in my classroom. And in doing that, we let her play along with uh, play along with us while we were investigating some of these things. And while she never called them by the right name, she was when I would say, uh, Dr. Clark, I need more money uh, for what? And, and when I told her what I was investing in because she had already played with it, she was like, OK, I think I can work that out. So, it, you know, those those administrators want to make sure they're getting the be best bang for their buck. So invite them in your classroom, give hand them a micro bit and the website, and you might be able to get some extra dollars from them. My next tip would be to invite your colleagues along as well. Now, I like to, to engage in something that I that uh, my colleagues and I say is edutainment educate people while entertaining them and they don't even realize that they're learning things and you we all know that the majority of teachers like learning um and so if we can get them um in, into an edutainment type of mode you might find someone other than in just the cs classroom participating in coding and that would be a win-win for all students improvise now in this COVID season what we learned as we were getting ready to share those uh, micro bits with our classroom that you might experience ship shipping delays but don't fear the um, um, micro bit has thought it out uh, thoughtfully provided for you simulations and so you're still able to access the equipment just virtually this ended up being a, a, a lifesaver for us as we were waiting for our large shipment shipment of micro bits to come in Tip six, interact. Use the microbit classroom. Um, as we were teaching teachers, this became our favorite way to get together because we could uh, interact with each other, be online together, see what um, the other person was doing, check out all of the coding, and um, still be in an interactive environment despite being separated. So again, my six tips for success, invest in a micro bit for yourself, 
investigate the website, invite others, especially those that have the money, insist that your colleagues learn more along with you, improvise if you cannot get the material, there's a wonderful make code site, and then interact with the micro bit classroom. Um, so you are welcome to get in touch with me at uh, on Twitter at YDCP. I'd look for I look forward to hearing more from you.